everybody and welcome to today's video. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. It is absolutely roasting today. It is so, so warm. So if I am going really red in this video, I apologize. It is boiling. <laughs> I just wanted to start out this video by saying a huge thank you to anyone who has recently subscribed to me or who has subscribed to me in general. Um, because my channel is quite small, I do really notice when my numbers go up even slightly and I've noticed that a few more of you have actually subscribed to me recently. And yeah, it means a lot. I started my channel about a year ago and I am just doing this for fun. I've kind of started this to capture the memories that I do with my friends, like the day trips, the weekend breaks, like just, yeah, have these memories to keep in a video. And the fact that you guys Enjoy watching them too it really means a lot to me because like I said my channel is just for fun I've never really looked into the analytics side of YouTube but I've recently started kind of working out how to use that and found that 90% of the people that watch my videos aren't actually subscribed so if that does apply to you and you are one of those people if you do enjoy this video and could consider subscribing that would mean a lot to me so with that being said, I am really excited to share today's video with you guys. Anyone that's been watching me for a while would know that one of my favorite things to do in the summer is go to a flower field. So I do quite a few flower fields in a year. So I do bluebells and then lavender, then sunflowers. And yeah, we kind of started this last year when we were in lockdown and we could only really do things outside. And it's something that I'm continuing into this year and hopefully for years to come as well, because it's something that I really, really enjoy doing, dressing up, going to different flower fields, and taking loads of photos and just having a really fun day floating around these flower fields. So I have done a flower field this year already. However, because we've had kind of a gap between the warm weather and then it going really cold for ages and now being warm again, um, I feel like this kind of feels like the start of summer. And so going to this flower field was so, so exciting. We were going to see some lavender and we were actually going to the same place that we went to last year because it was so, so nice when we went. Um, it was called Cotswold Lavender. Um, and I really, really recommend it if you wanted to go to a flower field this is actually a paid one and I think last year it was five pounds and this year was seven pounds for an adult ticket um but it was so so nice going in and there's so much lavender there and there's also some like yellow flowers and things like that so yeah if you did want to go out for a flower field day yourself I would really recommend this place if you are around that area we did have a bit of a drive to get there but because it's so nice and we found it last year and knew that it was going to be a really good day we wanted to do it again this year so so I vlogged my day and thought I would bring you guys along with me. So I hope you enjoy watching. Okay, so we have made it to Cotswold Lavender now and it is absolutely boiling. We've been blasting the aircon the entire way here. So I feel like as soon as we step out of the car, it is going to be boiling. Um, but I'm really excited. I remember it being so, so beautiful last year. So I'm really looking forward to going in and we're about to head in there now. We are in the lavender fields now and it is so, so nice, but really warm. We're just using the fan that I bought from Tiger yesterday. I'm um, just trying to cool us down a little bit. Oh, so. <laughs> but yeah, it's like so, so warm and sunny, but really nice. I don't even know if you can hear me with that on. Um, but we've taken some photos and we're probably about to take some more now and I will keep showing you what we get up to.
So we have finished in the lavender fields now and we have had a really good day. It was so, so warm. We've taken about 500 photos. Um, and yeah, it feels like this is the start of summer now because we haven't really had the warm weather so far this year. And this is kind of, we have done some flower fields before, but I feel like coming out today has just made it feel like summer now. Um, so yeah, we're about to go home and have a barbecue for dinner. Um, and yeah, I've had a really good day. So I will see you guys soon. that was my day out at the lavender fields it was so so beautiful there is so much lavender there like it goes on for ages and you just see the sea of purple and it's so nice to be in there amongst the lavender i am actually afraid of wasps and if that's something that you're afraid of too brace yourself because there are so many bees and wasps there but I feel like that just comes with the territory of going to flower fields but yeah there is a lot I feel like it's helping me to get over my phobia because being amongst that many wasps was scary last year and this year I feel like I played it cool I didn't even care so that was good I hope you guys have enjoyed watching today's video I really recommend going to flower fields in the summer it's definitely something that me and my friends enjoy doing um just going and having a bit of a silly photo shoot amongst the flowers and it's definitely a fun day to go and do with your friends so yeah I had a lovely time I hope you guys have enjoyed watching if you did please make sure to like and subscribe and I will hopefully see you in my next video bye